All right. Uh, well, thanks everybody for coming. My name is Kyle Wiseman from Library Ideas. I'm your Fregal, Fregal Music rep. Um, and so this, uh, this training is actually rather timely. Um, so this might be new information to you all, but uh, we uh, recently had a total redesign of the uh, Fregal Music platform uh, and uh, um, also um, uh, slightly adjusted the name of the product. So um, you see a new logo at the top, Fregal Music Plus, um, and that's really to indicate to you uh, and to our users that uh, there's something new in here. Um, and what I mean by that, you know, the total redesign was meant to um, really accurately uh, follow and meet the expectation of the end user. Um, you know, what that, that user expects uh, a streaming music platform to look like in, in uh, this day and age, 2023. Um, so you see the dark background, you see the uh, a lot more graphics, a um, little bit more going on on the front page. Um, you know, it's not, it's uh, no secret that, you know, Spotify has really paved the way um, uh, in, in this format. And uh, so, um, to you know, to keep our users happy, to keep you you guys happy too, we had to really um, adjust how it looks and how the uh, the platform really performs. Um, so I'm going to take you through everything, uh, everything you can do right now, um, everything that's new uh, to the uh, the platform. But um, starting from the top, right now um, there's over 19 million songs within Freegal Music. So if I am a um, a patron facing uh, staff member at a location, you know, the quickest way, I guess, you know, if I would be describing this to a, to a user is that this is this is Spotify like for for libraries. So all you need is a library card number um, to log in, uh, whether you use the app or the desktop, um, they're interchangeable. Um, you have each user will have an account uh, with their library card number. So as they log in, they're going to see this this front page. Uh, what's what's hot uh, will change uh, every few days. The spotlight is changing every few days um, so kind of accurately represent what's going on in the music world. So what's number one? What's the top five album? Um, you know, a quicker um, a quicker uh, way to get to the top 100 songs. Um, you know, so those you know, the top 100 songs on on, on Billboard, you know, dominate year. Uh, I'm sorry, week in and week out, not only on Freegal, but on other platforms too. So we want to give them more of what they want from the from the front page. But you know, it's uh, you know, Freegal is a gem for for every single person out there that has a library card because you know what what I generally you know try to remind uh, customers too is that you know everybody everybody listens to music. You know, everybody has a favorite artist or a favorite genre. Um, you know, unfortunately, not everybody reads uh, consistently, but everybody listens to music. So this, you know, Freegal um, can really be a platform that, uh, um, you know, it promotes itself to a larger amount of people uh, to get, uh, it gives, you know, people a, a reason to have a library card if they're not, um, you know, using the library in like the, um, in the, the most well-known sense. But, uh, you know, Every day you come in, you open up the Freegal app, there's going to be some new music in there. Uh, we add music every single day. Um, like I said, there's over 19 million songs, but as artists release singles, as they release albums, uh, we get that music at the same time as Spotify, as Apple Music, as any other platform out there. So there's there's no holdback, there's no embargo. Um, but, you know, fast forwarding to this day and age, you know, Freegal's been around for 13 years. Um, you know, people are, uh, you know, more and more interested in access to music rather than ownership. You see, you know, the CD use declining. Um, you know, I'm not sure if all your branch libraries have uh, CD collections, but uh, we see it a lot in the public library world where, um, you know, libraries are starting to uh, scale down or get rid of them altogether. Um, and, you know, people are just more and more interested in, you know, playlists, and just overall access to music. So when they're getting up in the morning, when they're getting ready for work, or if they're going on, uh, uh, going out for a morning walk or a morning workout, or their commute to work, or listening at their desk at work, um, they're turning on playlists. You know, based on what uh, type of mood they're in, uh, what they're doing. And so, you know, our curators in our um, home office add dozens of new playlists every single week. So you see that from our front page here. This is probably our most. Our, it, it is our number one. 
most accessed icon here is explore playlists. So we have our featured playlists um, that'll change uh, every day. Uh, you know, it's just going to be, you know, based on what's going on in the world right now, what holiday um, is coming up or, you know, we're in the midst of. Um, and there's going to be a playlist for every single mood out there, too. So whether you're meditating or working out, you know, you have high paced music, you have, you know, slower music to, to calm you down. Um, you know, what we what we see in uh, in reports, not only from, you know, our usage, but in, you know, other big platforms is, you know, people love things done for them. So, you know, we're doing a lot for them, uh, meaning that, you know, there's going to be a playlist for everybody that they can just turn on. And uh, it's a great way to uh, discover new music or um, discover music that you might have forgotten about that uh, you loved back in the day. Um, and so it's a, it's a win for everybody uh, the more we keep this updated. Um, so if I click on, you know, the, the Valentine's Day playlist here, um, all I would have to do is press play and it would start playing in order. Uh, if I don't want it to play in order, I would press press play and also press shuffle over here. So it would play it in out, out of order, obviously. Uh, but as I hover my icon over here, you can start any song at any time. Uh, you can uh, select the, so the, the heart button over here is a, is a like feature, add to favorites feature. Um, and one of the main components that we added uh, to this new platform is a recommendation engine. So we installed a new AI um, so when I said that, you know, people love things done for them, um, as they listen to more music, as they like more music within the site, the, um, Frequal Music Plus is going to learn a little bit more about them and what their tastes and likes and music is. And when we go back to the home page here, um, more of what you would like will start populating, uh, uh, a little bit better as it as it learns a little bit more about you. So it's going to bring uh, artists that you haven't listened to yet or uh, music that it's rec recommending to you based on the genre of music or um, you know whatever you've been listening to uh, you know in the previous days. So this is this is another feature that um, you know Spotify uses, Apple Music use, uses. So there's new playlists created for individual users every day. Um, and so it's really to cut down on the amount of time that they that they spend, you know, look, looking for their first playlist or their first song to play as they open up the app or come onto the desktop feature. Um, so we want to, you know, get them listening, get them listening fa faster, which leads to, um, uh, you know, a, ha a happier consumer. Um, so I'm just going to go back to the playlist here. Um, over here, like I said, this is the like button. Um, you can still add uh, songs to a wish list. Um, and as a reminder, not only can uh, users still, uh, you know, stream 24 hours a day, but um, they can still take their five downloads per week. And a download is a single song, and it is a DRM-free MP3 file. Um, DRM stands for digital digital rights management. So there's no digital rights management, which makes it. Um, when they download it, it, it is theirs to keep, which actually uh, means that they can transfer it to uh, any device that they have. So, you know, going back 13 years when we first started Freegal Music, uh, you know, streaming was not around. Uh, downloads were, uh, were the most popular uh, format. And so, um, you know, not having DRM um, leads to less uh, software issues. Um, less questions for you from the end user of, you know, how do I get this transferred to another device? So you're still able, able to do that, which still remains a very popular feature of Freegal, but really 80, 85% is going to come from streaming because they can, they can do it every day. Um, and these five downloads per, are per week. So as I use my downloads, it'll count down from five until I get to zero. Once I'm at zero, it'll say limit met up here. And that uh, would, um, that would reset on Monday morning around tw uh, 12.01 a.m. So it's from Monday to Sunday is the week. Um, and so if you find a song in here that you want to download, uh, you would press this button right here um, with the arrow pointing down. Um, and that would start, uh, let me just show you, hopefully that my screen shows up. Right down here, it downloaded as a separate file. So now I can drag this onto my desktop 
and uh, store it for later. Um, and again, you know, it's downloaded, so that means I can listen to it while I'm not connected to a mobile network or a Wi-Fi. So um, you can listen to it offline. So it's a great way to build a playlist or build build a library of music to uh, to listen to when you're uh, when you're not connected. Uh, because obviously, when you're streaming, you have to be connected to something to to listen. Um, now, as you as you you know go through this playlist or any song out here, you're going to see the same icons to the right. Um, so, you know, this feature with the three lines uh, would be add to playlist. So I would, you know, hit add to playlist or create a new playlist. I can name it whatever I want. Create a new playlist. So that individual song is, uh, oh, I've already named it because we probably had something similar last year. So song successfully added to your play to your playlist. So as I go on, I can add any song to that playlist uh, for a lot for as long as I like. And that playlist is going to indefinitely survive on on this site and uh, interchangeably on the mobile app. So right now I'm working from a computer. Later today, uh, when I get in the car and I open up my uh, Freegal Music app to listen to music, um, you know, that new playlist will show up there that I've created for my computer and I can play it over my, you know, Bluetooth audio in, in my car as well. Um, so that's how you create a playlist. Um, you know, if you have existing playlists as well, you can add it to any of, you know, anything. So you can have a, um, a, a playlist for, for every single mood you're in and there's no limit on how many playlists that you can create. I'm going to go back to the home page here. Um, so explore playlists, you know, like I said, there's uh, dozens of playlists added every single week. Um, discover artists. Uh, these are going to change every every day. Um, you know, there's over a million artists within our catalog. Of course, you know, we want to keep a lot of the, um, you know, recognizable uh, ones uh, up front, uh, but, uh, you know, you're going to find you know, hundreds, if not uh, a thousand different um, artists that you recognize. Um, so, you know, Beyonce, I click on Beyonce. I, you know, there's all of her popular songs at the at the top. Um, her latest albums also featured on albums or playlists that we have um, other playlists. You know what you might also like that is, um, uh, you know, similar to the style of uh, Beyonce. Um, and all the same features to the right. So if I find this song and I want to add it to a playlist, I can add it to the DOD playlist that I just created as well. Uh, I'm going to go back to the home page here. Again, discover albums. Um, you know, that's pretty self explanatory. I'm going to go back to the home page again. Uh, the now trending changes every day as well. Uh, Flowers, I believe, is still the number one song of the world, not only on Freegal, but in the uh, in the industry as a whole, uh, but these, um, the, but these, uh, uh, the trending music that I just clicked on, trending playlists, um, are based on uh, the top, the top songs listening, uh, being listened to uh, on Freegal overall worldwide. So we have nearly 5,000 public libraries that use Freegal music. So it's combined of uh, what the top songs are from every single user worldwide, and we and we create that list and it's populated every day. Um, again, same functions over here. You can like the songs, you can download them, you can add them to a playlist. Now you don't have to. Now you don't have to add individual songs to a playlist. So you can select songs here. See the red check mark showing up. So if you if you see a ton of ton of uh, songs that you like, you know four or five of them at a time, you would just select the ones you want, add to playlist, and I can add. You know those five songs to there at one time, so I don't have to click it. You know five different times to add. Uh, but overall, you know you're going to find you know the the new platform extremely easy to use. Um, it's modern look looking. Uh, the app is absolutely wonderful, and we just launched the the new look on January 17th, so it's not even a month old yet. Um, if you have time today or this week, I encourage you to go on, get comfortable with it. The more you know about it, um, I think the more comfortable 
uh, you'll be in, in explaining it to a, to a user that's standing in front of you. Um, you know, we see this at every single library, uh, public library, I know you're uh, a, a different sort of uh, uh, monster and, and system, but uh, you know, the same thing kind of is involved is, you know, your average user, average Joe on the street is, is really not expecting, you know, libraries to, to have services like this. And um, so if they don't know it's there, uh, you know, they're not going to be looking for it. So we have to bring it to their attention. And, uh, you know, the more the more we do so, the more, you know, users you get, um, the great the greater. Um, there's uh, there's no limit on how many users uh, can use Freegal at any any given time. Um, every song, every album, every playlist is accessible um, simultaneously. Um, so you're never going to have to turn anybody away. And the more users you get, the better. It's not costing, uh, you know, the DoD any more for a subscription uh, for for the amount of users you have. Um, so it is a win-win. It's a great. It's a great library model uh, that everybody is served at any given time. So uh, just wrapping up here, going into genres, uh, we did uh, we did uh, change this uh, th this look. So we have our top genres. We have our uh, you know there's obviously more genres than this. So I'll go to view all genres, and as I go into um, into genres here, you're going to see trending songs in in that um, in that genre. But up here. You're going to see some subgenres, so subgenres to R and B, and this this will be the same for any genre that you click on. So if I go into gospel, again you have your subgenres based on gospel as well, but the trending music in that in that uh, um, subgenre as well. But you know if you don't find it from the home page or from you know the playlist, of course you can go right up here to the search. And go, you know, type in whatever you want, and go directly to to an artist that you're looking for. Um, and uh, you know, just you know, similar to how Spotify would work, or like a Google type search, you type it in, and um, it populates results for you. Um, the one thing that uh, you should be aware of that we did remove from the new platform. And it was, you know, based on a variety of reasons that I don't think we need to uh, get into, but we did uh, eliminate the music videos. Um, there wasn't really a need to carry them anymore. Um, it wasn't a uh, very well used part of the uh, part of Freegal, um, and it caused a lot of, uh, well, not caused, but it just created more questions than uh, than than users, and uh, it was a little bit confusing to to some in the past. So. Uh, we made the decision to take those off and you know we really haven't heard any negative feedback in the last month that we've um, uh, changed over the platform i'd like it like i'd like to open it up to questions as i you know kind of took you through the nuts and bolts And was there anything in the in the chat box? No, not seeing anything there. You can also oh, looks like one might have come in. Okay. Oh, it says thanks for this great service. You're welcome. You know, we're proud to offer it to you guys. And um, you know, if there's uh, you know any questions, of course, and just you know outside of this. You know, pass them along to me. Pass them along to our support team. Um, generally, our support team gets gets back to everyone within about fifteen to twenty minutes during working hours. So, um, yeah, I would just really encourage you all to, um, you know, update your app or you know use the use the new desktop feature. Um, I think you're going to love it. Um, it's just. Uh, you know, it's 100% better than it was two months ago. I mean, it's not like it wasn't a great service before, but we spent a lot of time and um, a lot of money uh, in investing into uh, this new look, which is which was needed, and I think it's really going to pay off for your users. There's a comment in here that um, Freegal is great for sound effects. 
Okay. So some some students were using it for frog sounds, pirate shanties, <laughs> etc. Awesome. Never heard that before, but I'm glad that they're finding use in you know some some different ways. <laughs> 